Hey guys, it's your girl Diva Diva Fashionista and I want to thank you so very much for tuning into this video. Um, this is going to be my six month update of my Ikea plant haul. Um, a lot of you guys were interested in seeing how the plants are doing now. I thought I wasn't going to come back with an update until a year, but since you guys are interested, I thought I'd oblige. So I wanted to do something different in this video and show you all the plants I've gotten from Ikea because I've gotten more besides the ones I got on that trip. So I do want to start off with my casualties. It's really odd, it's really sad, you know, um, I do consider myself a good, you know, plant caregiver and uh, I lost two plants this month and it was just so crazy to me so I thought I'd show that to you. Uh, I started off with the plant I did not get at Ikea and then we'll, we'll go from there. But this is my croton. And my croton is just, look at this, guys. Look at that. And I think the culprit, maybe, because um, I, I see these little, looks like webs. I think my um, this one, uh, what do you call those? Fungus gnats got to this one. Because it just went, it just slowly but surely, it was a big lush plant. And if I have any, like, video or any type of picture of it, I'll insert it now. And uh, it just slowly but surely just dropped all its leaves. So RIP to my crow and I'm so sad. And then, and then, I kind of expected this. And this is totally my fault. This is the one of the plants I got at Ikea in that initial haul. Can you see how fried my girlfriend is? I'm so sorry. Like, I know this was my fault because... I didn't read up on how to care for this plant. So when I first purchased it, I watered her with um, tap water. She does not like that. And I put her in the window. So I, I did this and I, I'm so sorry. So uh, casualty I have, I'm gonna bury her outside so she could be in her natural habitat, right? So onto the ones that's doing well so i know you see this big guy in the background he is actually from ikea it's probably one of the first plants i purchased from ikea if not the first one probably the first and um this guy is getting crazy it's in its third pot since i've had it i probably had it for about two years now and it's in its third pot and uh it's just just big and just unruly i don't, I don't know am i supposed to stake this thing let me know if you have a spider plant um and i have i'm officially a, a grand mommy yes a, a grand plant mommy because it finally had a baby and i'm i'm gonna let it stay on there at first i was gonna propagate it but i'm actually gonna let it stay because i went past city college the other day and they had planters full of these things and they were in bloom and all the babies were just shot up. it was just so beautiful so i don't think i'm gonna take him off anymore and i'm just i'm um, so happy that he's thriving and um he's doing well like, you know it if i overwater it it lets me know immediately because it gets the little brown tips but we've been good we've been really good lately so moving on to this guy who i don't know what's happening with him i don't i don't know <laughs> i i don't uh he it's random string in my house <laughs> but uh he is um look at him and his little random string <laughs> um so doesn't he look weird? I, I'm sure he's doing okay. I'm sure he's still alive. Um, but he looks weird. Like he was a lot more round before. And now he's got this odd pointy shape. I try to remember to turn him. Um, but uh, I think he's good. He's also darker than he was from when I um, purchased him. Not a lot of growth on it. It's not growing super, super quickly. But I, I guess he's good, right? He's good. So on to my marginata this is one of those plants that my my hubby actually kind of looks after too because he's interested in this one um i have to hold him up to me to see if he's grown i made i've been trying to give him more light because someone told me that they can grow quicker than it's actually growing so um i've been trying to give him a, um more like got a clamp light that i've been aiming towards him and a couple other plants and um we'll see how that works like so far so good he's doing pretty good i mean 
to me looking straight at him i don't really see the the difference the the growth but it seems like you know he's all right and he's probably bigger hubby says they they all are definitely bigger but probably i i can't really tell as long as he's alive i'm happy and so i am i'm gonna insert um a clip of the plants that i couldn't pick up i couldn't get down here because some of them are just too big <laughs> so i didn't want to um um pick them up so i'll insert that now i picked up this guy on a trip to ikea he's about i don't want to say doubled but he's definitely gotten bigger since i brought him home this was a gift to hubby who kept saying i want a corn plant i want a corn plant i want a corn plant so here it is now what he didn't tell me was how big these things get so i um went to my union office a few days ago and they had two of them and these things turned into trees so this thing will be massive if we can manage to keep it alive that long now on to my calico look at this um i tend to like when i, I actually prune this one a lot like I got whatever is dead i cut off and then i just drop it into the soil you know waste not want not right so this guy is in like the dormant season it is winter even though it's inside it knows it's not supposed to be producing any flowers right now so it's not but it's still alive and very healthy and it's gotten bigger since the last time i showed you it you see this guy is alive and doing well now on to this guy who i am not picking up can you see how huge like he's probably doubled in size since the last time i've showed you him he is huge like this one is really taking off that stalk right there the leaves are usually um it's losing some of the leaves are usually just perky and just thick and lush i just can't believe it i cannot believe how big this guy has gotten and then on to another plant i got at ikea this is my aloe one of the first plants i've gotten when i first repotted it it fell over like like this and then now it's just it's really just taking off and now uh, standing up towards the sun again and yeah, um, I do want another aloe. Hopefully, I can find a, another kind. But this guy, he, he's doing good. He hasn't put off any babies yet. That would be really exciting if I could um, get bigger or produce more plants. That would be totally exciting. But for now, I'm very happy with my aloe plant. And I want to just wrap it up with this video with the plant I'm most happy with. I'm most shocked with its growth now if you are interested in house plants and you don't do that well with house plants i see people always say when i'm watching gardening or plant videos i i have a black thumb i kill everything literally when i was on amazon i saw these listed as you know basically you can't kill them like if you'd have to i don't even know what you would have to do to kill this thing can i tell you um how many times my sons have knocked this plant over and i've come home and had to scoop back up and apologize to this plant like i am so sorry you can see in my original if you watched my original video um i kind of dinged it up on the transport home when i was getting it home from the ikea in brooklyn and it's it that doesn't even look that bad like it's it's definitely thriving so if you kill a snake plant if you kill a Sansevieria, if I said that right, you can tell me if I said it wrong. Like, <laughs> if you kill this, like, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, it's, it's, it's darn near impossible. My, my boys are trying to take this thing out several times, and it's thriving. It's thriving so much so. Yeah. This, if you watched the last video, you'll see this was one plant. This was one plant that I thought, mm, maybe I should separate it. And then I was like, oh no, I was scared. I was too afraid I would damage the plant. And I didn't separate it. But one day I came home and found it on the floor. I said, that's it. Maybe it's just too heavy. That's probably why they're knocking it over. And I took it and then now it went from one of these 
they were in one pot this size to now two pots this size so hopefully i don't have to repot them anytime soon because most people say that um you shouldn't do that you shouldn't um repot in the winter time but i actually did and my plant seems fine you see this little guy was like the little grunt of the pack and look how big he is and then I'll show you a little more of this guy He's kind of leaning because he's a little heavy so i'm trying to face him towards the sun in this direction see if that that works out for it but who knows it's happy he can you believe this one plant became two and i'm just i'm just so pleased so guys i just want to thank you so very much for watching if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe you know it's free won't hurt um, i hope to bring um you more plant videos in the future and um I, i'm actually waiting on an amazon order I, I let's see how that goes i don't do too well with amazon plants but uh i, I have my fingers crossed for this one so i want to thank you for watching and yeah that's it later